guys, thanks for stopping by the Rolling On channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time joining us, my name's Zach. Today, below me, I have a late 1960s model Hoover washing machine. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos. Great news and a channel update over the weekend. I was fortunate enough to snag this 1965 Mac 210 chainsaw for $10. So we'll be adding this to the wall of saws here in a minute. Anyhow, I really appreciate you being here. Today, we're gonna do a load of clothes in this washing machine, and I'll just give you a little history on this thing real quick. So, my buddy Harley, I was over at his house and we were kind of looking around some things, and his house was built in the late 1800s, so it had a lot of weird old stuff in it. It had a, a dirt floor basement and, and the house is kind of held up with tree trunks but anyway this washing machine was in there and I was like you know that would make a pretty cool YouTube video <laughs> guys I'm sure you've noticed that these chainsaws are accumulating quicker than I'm able to tweak them and fix them up, but I don't even care. Look at how freaking cool that thing is added to the wall. There used to be a little Hoover emblem here, a red emblem. Looks like that peeled off at some time. Looks like a bird's been doing some stuff up here. Pull the cover off, and we have some little knobs that uh, run the controls of this washing machine. This flips up, and this is a high-speed dryer. It kind of shakes if you've ever been to like a, a swimming pool somewhere. Sometimes they have those for swimsuits and stuff. And then this, oh, that just comes right off, huh? Is the washing machine side. I'll give you guys a glance down in here. So this thing spins around really quick and drains the water out the bottom. And this is the wash tub. I think I should probably rinse this out before I put any clothes in it. Definitely has a terrible smell to it also. And there's some various modes for washing your clothes. This thing is pretty sturdy. And I was doing some research online about this thing and I actually found that e-replacement parts, I think it was, they still have like parts lists for this thing. All the parts are discontinued obviously, but um, we're going to take these screws out and check out the inside of here, see how things are built. But it's kind of nice to see a place to wrap your cord around here. You don't see stuff like that anymore. And newer washing machines don't sound like that either. This thing's probably twice as thick as one of the newer ones. All right, guys, let's get this panel off of here and check this thing out. When I first got this, I actually took this thing off because I thought I heard some squeaking coming from the basement. And I thought there might have been a family of mice living in here. But I opened it up and didn't see anything. Okay, we're in the meat of her now. Look at this pulley setup. Look at the size of this motor. The only thing that this motor does is spin this little wheel in here. Look at the size of that thing. It's probably a 10 amp motor. Down here is another pulley with a belt, so this must be a motor here. My guess is there's some sort of cam system going where this is center of the shaft, slightly off center, and that's what rings your clothes. Pretty cool, there's a little electrical diagram here. The Hoover Company, made in North Canton, Ohio, USA. Let's get this baby fired up. So this is pretty neat, this isn't even actually electrical. There's a shaft that goes down to this valve. We'll see how good that is at holding water. Good thing my basement fills up with water all the time. And then we'll have to see how this ends up working, I'm not really certain about that. So let's get this thing plugged in, and we'll see if there are any sparks. All right, she's plugged in, nothing's on fire yet. Let's mess around with some of these controls. You can kind of hear it. You can hear that valve turning down in that drain. Well, she's not perfectly balanced, but it's not too bad. I'll get the job done. Up. So when I turn that knob up there, that's trying to make this motor work. 
Let's give this a little bit of a spin. Maybe help free that thing up. All right, here we go. Oh. Guys, believe it or not, right here is a safety switch. When I close that lid, it closes that contact. So that lid has to be closed to turn on the drain. But I basically just worked this around a little bit and it was finally enough to um, loosen that up so that I can turn this motor on now. Thing hums a little bit. Ooh, she needs some oil. Let's open it just to see what's going on in there. Oh yeah, that'll dry your clothes. <laughs> and here's this little tag on the back. That's kind of neat. So I was over here, I was contemplating what this gray rubber tube was for. I can kind of pull it out of here and reach down into the bottom of here, and then I can also bring it over here. Well, what I've determined that that is, is there's no way out of here except for this gray tube, which is the same rubber tube right here. So when I think when you turn on the drain cycle, there's a little belt right there you can see that runs off the same motor as the your rinse cycle runs off of. But that basically turns this gray hose into a vacuum and it you open this valve and it drains your fluid out of your wash tub and out of your rinse tub. And then it just it sucks it out of here and you would just take this thing and hang it off the side and it would blow all the water out into a drain or wherever you were washing your clothes. Alright, now let's get this bad boy filled up. Stainless steel tub, by the way. What would you rather have in your modern washing machine, plastic or stainless? I'll let you decide. I'll tell you right now, this is the most fun I've had in a while. Today we're going to wash a typical Zach outfit for a day. So we got a pair of socks going in. Should I have like a wooden stick or something to stir this with? It kind of seems like it. A nice pair of Fruit of the Loom underwear. I'm telling you, don't sleep on Fruit of the Loom. I've probably got a three pack of these for 10 bucks around my sophomore year of high school. These babies are still going. I'm 20, I'm going on 25. Got a pair of shorts going in. And then finally, the outfit would not be complete without one of these. I got a Lee Foster Memorial 5K t-shirt going in the pot. What year is this? 2020. Now to keep this as authentic as possible, because I don't think that they even had laundry detergent liquid back then. We're going to toss in a good old scoop of OxyClean with white revive, even though I don't have any whites in here. We're just gonna sprinkle this in. Hopefully we don't have a sudsy mess. All right, it's go time. Let's get this baby fired up. I wonder if I need to keep the lid on. Oh! Oh, there we go, baby. Oh. Look at that. Oh, we got some water splashing out of there. That'll get the clothes clean though, look at that. All right, I'm gonna let this go for a little bit and then I'm gonna stop back over and we're gonna try out the rinse function over here. I bet that's pretty cool too. All right, I'm just gonna rinse these out under the faucet now. Let's toss these things in the wringer dryer and see how this thing works. I don't know if this is technically considered a wringer dryer. I guess it just kind of has a spin to it. Centrifugal spin. Wow, you would not believe how close to dry these clothes are, actually. That water must drain down into that tube because there's no water inside of here. Just down here messing around, trying to figure out what was wrong with this thing. And we accidentally sprung a leak. So that's not very good. What's supposed to happen is you're supposed to be able to run this out of your tub 
and then you're supposed to be able to run your hose into here. Fill this up with water, rinse, fill it up with water, rinse, and as you're rinsing, this will drain water out of this tub. And then when you go and you want to drain your wash tub, you switch this over to drain wash tub. You close your lid and the motor that runs your rinse runs this pump also. But for some reason the belt's slipping on the pump. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to like siphon this out or something. This thing definitely needs some TLC. I'll tell you, they don't make washing machines the way they used to. For not having run a load of clothes probably since before I was born. Well before I was born, I think it did a pretty bang up job. I'm impressed. Got her draining out the old fashioned way now. Anyhow guys, thanks for stopping by and watching the video. I thought this washing machine was pretty neat so I wanted to share it with you guys. If you thought it was cool, please like the video. Subscribe for more videos. Um, what they're going to be, I'm not sure yet. This one was kind of interesting. Clothes are a little wrinkly, but they came out smelling like a rose. Can't wait to throw these things back on and get working on another project. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. Thank you.